Installing MySQL package on our system or server is the first step that we'll be talking about in this course. If you're using a Mac OS or Windows machine or other types of OSs except Linux, you can head over to MySQL.com and click on the Downloads menu and scroll down to MySQL Community version. MySQL has a paid version as well, but the free version that we're about to use in this course is the community version that is absolutely free. You can click on it and then download the installer for Windows or download the package for Mac OS and install it. If you have a problem installation it, you can just do a little bit of research and you will find a tons of tutorials to get this packages installed on Windows and Mac OS's. But if you're using a Linux machine, follow the rest of the tutorial. So I'll show you how you can get MySQL package installed on your Linux machine. Here inside my Debian machine, I have a terminal window opened and I'm ready to install the package. The first thing that I need to do is of course updating the package list and I'm using apt so I type sudo apt update to get the app package list updated. After updating the list, I'm ready to install the package. The package name and app repository is MariaDB, so I need to do sudo apt install MariaDB-server. And adding a dash v flag will answer yes to the confirmation question. And after this, the whole package of MySQL will be installed on our Linux system. And then the only step we need to take after that is securing the installation by running the security script of MySQL that adds a security layer over our MySQL installation. And it's very easy and it's done by sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation. Press enter. The first question is asking for the root password. We have just installed and run that. MySQL, so we have no root password yet for it, leave it blank and press enter. The next question is about switching to the Unix socket authentication. We want to take it, so type Y and press enter. This one is about changing or setting the root password. This is the best place to set a root password for MySQL, so we type Y and press enter. Here we need to type a password that we can remember for it. This is not the system password, this is just a root password for the MySQL installation. Type it once, press enter, and then type it again. And this easy, you can set a root password for your MySQL installation that you will need, of course. So the next question is about removing the anonymous user that is installed by default. We type Y and press enter, and then we want to prevent the root user to log into our server remotely. And now the Y, press enter, and that's it. Now we want to uh, remove the test database that is installed by default while installation. So the last Y and press enter. And now we are ready to reload the privileges table for all of the changes to take effect. And that's it. We have installed and secured the MariaDB server on our Linux system. Now to ensure that the server is installed correctly and it's working properly, we can just test it by logging into it, typing mysql-u username, in this case root, and dash p and then give it the password that was just set and logging into it. We must be able to log in this easy to the server after installation and to test even more we can execute a simple command like show databases and as you see the command is executed and is returning correctly. Now we want to log out from the server we can do it by either typing exit or quit. This is the way that we can log in and log out from the server. Now the last step is uninstalling the MySQL in case you need to do that from our Linux system. The way that we want to do it is typing sudo apt remove dash dash purge flag and then the package name maria db dash server and typing dash y flag to answer yes to the confirmation 
Now we want to switch to yes, but the arrow key on the keyboard and press yes to complete the uninstallation. Now there are some packages that are no longer in use. Those are the dependencies that have been installed on our system by MySQL installation that are no longer needed. We want to remove them as well to keep the system clean. So we type sudo apt auto remove dash y and this way we can uninstall the dependencies that are no longer in use. This is the whole process of installing, testing and uninstalling MySQL on our Linux system. In the next videos we'll be controlling the system, we'll be executing commands and all those good stuff. So until the next one, I bid you farewell.